Hello, geometry students. Mr. Zazik back, and better than ever, Regents Review 9. We're going to look at the equation of a dilated line. This one's, you know, kind of a, a specialized um, thing here. And so one of the things that we want to understand with a dilation, that a dilation always has two things. You see the word dilation, you want to think there always has to be a center of dilation, and there always has to be a scale factor. So if the scale factor is bigger than one, it, it's going to be fur, uh, farther away to the center. And if it's between zero and one, sort of between zero and one, it will be closer to the center of dilation. So what happens is if we have a line segment and here's the center of dilation, what happens like if the scale factor is two, it doubles the distance. So this and this would be the same. The other thing is they're always going to be parallel. And that's particularly important uh, when we're looking at equations because parallel lines we know have the same slope. So we look at this question and we say, all right, line L has this equation, y equals negative 5x plus 2. It's in the form y equals mx plus b. We know that m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Write the equation of the image of L after a dilation with a scale factor of 3 centered at the origin. So if we kind of did a, little, a quick little sketch of this, what we understand is the point has a y-intercept of 2 and a slope of negative 5. So it's coming like here. Here's, the, here's my point in drawing that. The center is the origin. So it's not on the line, therefore this point needs to get three times farther away from the center of or from the center of dilation. So right now it's two, so we need to go three, four, five, six. If we were to dilate that, it would move this line up to six, but it would be a parallel line. So the real simple process is all you have to do the y-intercept is the point 0, 2. Well, if we're going to dilate that with a scale factor of 3, it becomes 0, 6. And so now the equation is y equals negative 5x plus 6. So you keep the slope. We're going to kind of summarize that. Keep the slope. And then the second thing is multiply the y, the b value, the b, by the scale factor. Scale factor. So we kept the slope, we multiplied 2 times 3, and we got 6. All right. Another one, line m has this equation, write the equation of the image of m after a dilation with a scale factor of 4 centered at the origin. So here we need to do a little bit of algebra first to rewrite the form of this. So if we subtract x, we get 2y equals negative x plus 10. Divide everything by 2. So y equals negative 1 half x plus 5. Um, again, what we note is this line doesn't go through. So the real shortcut here now, scale factor of 4. So 5 times 4 is 20. And so our new equation would be y equals negative one-half x plus 20. Because they're parallel, we keep the slope the same. We just multiply that y-intercept by the scale factor. The one exception is when, if the line, so here's the exception. If the center of dilation is on the line, so if the center of dilation is on the line, the equation stays the same. So in these questions, we would have need to assess to make sure that it doesn't go through the origin. If it did go through the origin, it's very simple, then it doesn't change at all because if you dilate it along that um, a line that goes through the center of dilation, the line remains unchanged, okay? So 
pretty easy process once you see it, um, but it's helpful to just kind of refresh our understanding and knowledge of dilations a little bit uh, to make sure that we get that. All right, we'll see you back here soon.